It's another Elect gameplay video. Tekken on the PlayStation 1. A real favourite of mine. I was good at this. I was good at this. In fact, I was... I'd go as far as say as I was... Uh, I was very good. I was very good at this. But, having not played it for many years... Uh, Let's just see how I do. But welcome back to the game room. We've got it all going on here. We've got the fan on. We've got the window open. So there's crazy seagulls outside. So they might kick off at any second. Um, yeah. Welcome back. I remember I unlocked all the other characters, you know, like, I, I don't know why I always call them like their alter egos. That's how I kind of looked at it. Tekken. I think we looked at the number three demo. Okay, why is it not letting us in? Aha, it would help if you press the start button. Not everything is uh, governed by the action button like it is nowadays. So let's go for King. Always my uh, my main character, my favourite character. Ah, oh, look at that! Nice little special move there. Oh god, it's all coming back to me. And let's not forget the audio in this. The audio was amazing. But yeah, I do have to get number three, number two. I've got to do it. This just blew me away, this game, when it came out. I have some of that. The audio, the music, it's just... Come on Nina, make life a little bit difficult for me. I watch a lot of boxing, you know. I used to like the old heavyweight boxing. Um, Tyson, Lennox Lewis... That kind of era, even earlier, like Spinks and stuff. And I've recently been getting into the new stuff, or recent recent stuff. And um, I finally watched one of these Tyson Fury fights. And, uh, you know, he was fighting some guy from Sweden. And I don't know what all the hype is about with him. I don't, I don't get it. The man has got absolutely no style of fighting at all. And anyway, this um, this other guy was obviously a lot smaller, the Swedish bloke, and he was quite stocky. But he, he had a good fight. And uh, if it had been a few years ago, they would have stopped that match because of uh, the cut above Fury's eye was so bad. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, it's all a bit. Uh, don't quite get all the hype about him as a fighter. I mean, he certainly had the. Uh, in this particular fight, all right, Tyson Fury certainly had the stamina, but. Oh. 
Come on. We better make this the last one because I'm. I can feel myself getting into this one. You win. Tekken. Now, considering it's been years since I played it, I'll just tell you one more little story about this game because I tested this game on a TV that I bought years ago and I made such a mistake buying this TV. It was, be it was just before big screen plasmas were coming out and I really wanted a large screen. I bought myself a Sony... I can't remember what it was called now. But it was a rear projection set. Yeah, I think they were called... I think they were called DLP, Digital Light Processing. And I was never telling my dad, you know, that's what I really wanted. And he'd seen them in a shop. He'd seen them running in a shop and he just didn't like them. And uh, i never forget putting a PlayStation game on there. This this particular game was the first game I played on this rear projection set. And it looked awful. It might have been top of the range projection for its time. It looked terrible. And I actually had to get rid of that TV. I remember getting a refund because I'd only had it a few months and I went on holiday and uh, after two weeks I put, whoa. And when I came back and put the TV on, uh, half the screen was kind of yellow. But all those rear projection sets, they were always prone to alignment problems and colour bleed and everything else. I mean, it's so complicated, the mechanism at the back. But yeah, I'm going to end it there because I keep chatting away. So that was Tekken on a PlayStation 1. And thank you for joining me in the game room. I, I, this, is, this is another good character. Bye-bye. <laughs>